Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to my review of Boss Jock Jr., the sequel app to uh, Boss Jock Studio, if you want to call it that. And um, there are a bunch of things that I absolutely just love about this app so far. A couple of things that I'm not too crazy about, um, but we'll, but we'll get to those here in a little bit. I love this new interface. Uh, first of all, the, the colors, they're a lot sleeker. It kind of mashes up with the uh, new look of the iPhone iOS system ever since uh, iOS 7. Um... So I really, like, I really like the redesign in terms of the colors. Um, that's one thing I really like. The other thing I, I love is the ability to purchase royalty-free royalty uh, sound effects and bumpers from the... Uh, from the Boss Jock store. I guess that's what they're calling it. Um, because it, it's difficult for podcasters to find ro royalty-free uh, music. It, it really is. Um, because there are a bunch of different re repositories out there, but a lot of them are so expensive. Um, some websites, they want you to pay like they want you to pay $29 for a single clip. And that's just so stupid to me. Why would you pay $29 for a song when you, that's royalty free? Uh, when you can buy fully licensed songs off the iTunes store for a dollar twenty nine. Now you're not supposed to use licensed music in your podcast, but many people do because they don't want to have to pay all the extra. Uh, they don't want to have to pay for all the extra money that a lot of these quote unquote royalty free. Uh, songs cost. But uh, Boss Chuck Jr. really fixes that problem by bringing the ability to uh, buy the bumpers as in-app purchases, and I, I, really, I really like it. Um, I also really like how you can play uh, music in the background, as always, like this. So, this would be a great uh, title to use, or a great track to use, if I were going to do like a movie review or something. That's what I would use. Now, the one thing I don't like about Boss Jock uh, Jr., and this is the only thing that I have a problem with, is the fact that there, there's no gear icon to where you can really edit the sound effect like you can do in the regular Boss Jock Studio. And I don't know if they've done this on purpose, but I like to add in sound effects of my own um, into my podcast. And I don't necessarily like the fact that every time I put something in, uh, it auto-fades and it auto-docks. Because... Um, you know, some, sometimes, like for music and whatnot, I understand, but for sound effects, you obviously don't need to duck those or have those fade at the end. And so, if I could somehow edit those, um, if I could somehow edit those um, in Boss Talk 2, that would be a huge, huge help. Overall, uh, it's just a great, great uh, app, and I want to thank you guys at the Boss Jocks for uh, making it 
Now all I need you guys to do is uh, make a PC or a Mac version and I'll be a happy customer uh, for life, even though I already am. Alright folks, uh, thank you for uh, watching this review and I'll talk to you later.